Philly, so I did that. So let me know when you're ready to record. Talk to yeah, you. it's recording. What, camera or a little, uh, H little H bit of, little bit of H. Gotcha. Right. It's recording, yeah. This is Chris Levy live at the 2010 National in Baltimore. I'm here with David Hunt of Hunt Auctions. They're a Pennsylvania-based auction house that does a little bit of everything. They do some of the cards. They do a lot of great autographs. They do a lot of great memorabilia. One of the things they do is they have a partnership with the Phillies, and they brought a lot of great game-used items here. You can see Utley, Howard, Hamels, Rollins. Uh, is that an old uh, throwback Richie Ashburn song? Autograph, yes. yes. Now, one of the great misconceptions I have when I talk to newer collectors is that it's just, it's simply too expensive to get into it. Why don't we talk a little bit about prices and some of this, because I'm sure it's going to surprise people that, that they can get started with this. Well, it is. I mean, one thing that's important is, obviously, if you're talking about a Howard or an Ali, that's going to be more valuable than, per se, a common player on the team. So the Howard and the Utleys are several thousand dollars each ish. But you can get into it with another player that might be even like Cole Hamilton, six, seven hundred dollars. Really what's what we like to do, especially through things like our partnership with the Phillies, is make sure that things are authentic because with the modern pieces, it's really difficult. It's not as easy to tell per se as some of the vintage ones. So it's really important to have that documentation in place. Yes, and there's nothing better than getting it straight from the source yes. with the partnership with the Phillies. Um, if you take a look down here, you're going to see some of the great old autograph things they have. They got a lot of nice Ted Williams stuff, of course Mickey Mantle, and uh, old guys like Carl Hubble. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite autograph of any of the players in terms of just how it appears in terms of penmanship? You know, I'd say one of the autographs that I really have a great appreciation for is Lou Gehrig. Because obviously just a, just a beautiful penmanship, classic player. Uh, and I think it's also interesting to see, especially as his life progressed tragically, at the end, his signature really changed and, and altered. Uh, you didn't see very few signatures from late in his life, but just as a style, beautiful signature, classic player, so that's, I would say it's my personal one. Now, one of the great things you've been doing in your internet auctions now is you've got a partnership with, is this, this is from UDA, yes. the, the Michael Jordan Correct. stuff. Mm -hmm. Hunt has a uh, promotion going with uh, Upper Deck Authenticated, where they're auctioning off all of Michael Jordan's um, golf things. You can see here the shoes, golf clubs, the golf bag. How did you get involved with Upper Deck? Well, we've been involved with UDA for a number of years now, doing different projects, and the Michael Jordan thing just was a great fit because the Jordan uh, Foundation, they were looking to raise money from the James Jordan Foundation, so all the golf materials you know, were obtained and that money went to their charity. Uh, and then we had Michael sign some as well, so they make a lot of unique one-of-one -one pieces, uh, lots of clubs and golf bags and all sorts of interesting things. And you know, talking about price points, a lot of them are 50 or 100 or 200 dollars, so there's a lot of really neat things, and they come with a full UDA letter that stays, came right from Michael Jordan, so it's a real cool piece for not a lot of money. And I notice as a cut signature card collector that on the back of most Upper Deck cards, you're listed as one of the auction houses that supplies their cards. Right. Can you talk a little bit about that at all? Yeah, I think, you know, it's something that we always have enjoyed doing with the different card companies, especially Upper Deck, quality of their products. Uh, you, know, you want to make sure, obviously, that those signatures are authentic. And so we've had a lot of different things over the years where they would be a nice fit for them, whether we would sell them in a retail sort of setting or that come through the auction. So obviously, it's a great thing to contribute to the product. Now we are at some of the premier items they have here at the National. Earlier uh, he was talking about how his favorite signature is Lou Gehrig. Well, there in fact is Lou Gehrig. You're going to see a Babe Ruth balls, um, a nice Melot signed photograph. For those of you who don't know, Melot died in a car crash 1955. Very tough auto. Of course, Ty Cobb, a mantle signed jersey. Um, of course, more room. Now, do you think that there's a perception that the Ruth autos are tougher than they are given how many he signed during his lifetime? I think that there is. I mean, I think we're very fortunate to do this at a very high level, so we enjoy the fact that we can obtain a lot of Ruth signatures. But it's just amazing, a testament to the player, to the status that he has in American history, really, in pop culture. They're not incredibly rare, but they are incredibly popular. I mean, we can't keep up with the demand. Everyone we get, we sell them very routinely. Uh, and, and 
it's just an amazing sort of a testament again that the pricing is held and continues to climb in popularity when it is not technically a very, very rare article. Now all the things we've seen so far are items that are for sale here on the floor of the National. Correct. I noticed within perhaps the last year, year and a half, you started selling directly on your website, huntauctions.com, <laughs> items that have been held out of the auctions that you just sell. You want to talk a little bit about Yeah, sure. It's just a division. We've always had kind of a presence of things to sell here and there because clients really truthfully like to come to shows like this and actually buy some and take it home rather than just previewing for the auction. And it's almost it almost frustrated them because they couldn't take it home. So we have cases where people come to us and they just don't want to consign it. They just prefer to sell it outright. So we just kind of develop that retail end of the business, if you will, and uh, through things like our partnership with the Phillies and different things to just sell some things retail. As we mentioned, Hunt also has a number of uh, co sports cards they do. Now, I noticed that most of the cards you sell in your auctions are SGC graded. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about your uh, relationship with SGC and why you feel that they're you know, perhaps the best for vintage? Because I know a lot of collectors feel that way as well. I do. I think uh, really, for especially for vintage cards, which is really our hallmark, I really do think SGC is, is the best firm. Uh, for a lot of reasons. That does not mean there are not other firms that are good grading companies. I certainly think there are. But for us personally, we've enjoyed a relationship for a number of years. I think what they do the best is they really, I think, are consistent. You really, when you see a card that's a four, you'll see another card that's a four. They really do look very similar and the reasons are, are accurate. Again, not saying that other firms don't do that, but I feel SGC just does it a little bit better. Hunt has a great relationship with both Major League Baseball and the National Football League. Each All-Star game, Hunt will do an auction that weekend, and they also have a relationship with the NFL and the Super Bowl. And here are some items that we have upcoming at this uh, Super Bowl's auction, and also previews from their Louisville Slugger auction. Now, is that a pair of Koufax game pants? It is. This is part of the collection of Joe Pitts, who is a longtime LA Dodgers equipment manager. So we've got Sandy Koufax's pants, Don Drysdale's helmet, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Clemente Bats, a lot of really unique pieces that came right from him. But of course, this has to be one of the signature pieces of that auction. Yes, you want to talk about this? This is uh, a 1903 World Series bat attributed and signed by Hall of Famer Cy Young. It's an amazing piece, it, and I, we have just gotten in, so I haven't even done the research yet, but to the best of our knowledge, it appears to be a presentational bat used by the pitchers, including Cy Young, in the 1903 First World Series, signed by Cy Young, and then a metal plaque inscribed to the baseball magazine as it was presented in the 1940s. Really, very, very, very significant piece. All right. Um, this has been Chris at The National with David Hunt. Stay tuned to FreedomCardboard.com for streaming videos and more interviews throughout the weekend. Thank you. Nice, Jess. Thanks.